Today I'd like to show you our off-grid setup we have. We're just on solar. We do have a generator for backup as well. But I'd like to show you the solar system we put up about a year and a half ago during COVID. It was kind of slim pickings, but just to do a review on the panels we got, the inverter, and also the batteries. The panels we were able to get were through um, Signature Solar out of Texas. These are Zen Shine panels. Yep, they're Chinese um, made. Switch this around here and I'll be able to show you guys what we have. So we were running on a system that is 10 panels. These are 390 watts each. They are bifacial, so they'll actually pick up a little bit more off the underside. Um, I was a little hesitant, but like I said, it was during COVID and I didn't have a lot of options as far as panels to get and other equipment. But let me show you the backside and we built the mount, the base, um, everything. And a lot of this, guys, actually I got right off of YouTube. So it's a great avenue to use and I felt the need to uh, share with you guys because, yeah, there's, there's information and there's... Um, you know, some people are going to do things a lot better than I did, and I'm okay with that. But this this seemed to work pretty good. The frame, I use 6 by 6s or three of them, obviously, that go into the ground. And then the box, essentially, I made out of 2x10s. Um, and with that, you can just kind of see, I just drilled right into the middle of the 6 by 6s And this is totally adjustable. So um, I can move these panels, tilt them as the uh, season goes. You can kind of see some of the markings over there. Winter it is uh, first part of April right now. So we just move these up um, to find the sun a little bit better. And then this um, super strut, I just sourced this at Lowe's. Home Depot has it as well. And that's what I used um, onto this wooden box here and then secured the panels. I'll kind of show you here. Um, get on there a little bit better with um, just the normal hardware that would that would come with. Now I did off of Amazon was able to source these clips right here, um, and there's obviously you know on each side, so four on each panel uh, that share with the next panel over, and these have done just an incredible job. Um, we're kind of out in the middle of the woods, nice open area you can kind of see behind. So there's a lot of wind that um, hammers these panels and these have held up. Yeah, obviously you want to go through and, and tighten up what you need to tighten, but all in all, this system has held up incredibly well. Like I said, we're only at a year and a half, um, but super happy with how it turned out and how it functions um, for us. And if we ever wanted to add on, I mean, you can see we've got a little bit of room right here to add on to the um, solar array if we want to do that. But I'll show you, next we'll go into the shed here and I'll show you the uh, inverter and give you a kind of the lowdown on that. Now I had done a video earlier on the generator uh, that we're using in here to just for backup and then in the winter, we are in Michigan, so Winters are tough, not very sunny. Uh, there's times where we have to run that generator maybe an hour or two to charge up the batteries, enough to get you through the day and uh, on, on to the next day. But that was um, a previous video that I did that we run the um, Westinghouse off of our propane pig, the 500 pound uh, with that regulator right over there. But let's show you the inverter here. Now it is going to be just a little bit noisy in here. The uh, inverter's working. This is a grow watt. This is an off-grid. This is a 12,000 watt inverter. Um, yeah, probably overkill for what I need, but uh, I really didn't feel like putting two of these up. But I will. I will tell you this: if you if you buy this, this thing weighs good grief. I don't know what they say. I think 180. It's it's 200 pounds easy. It is so heavy. Um, so get creative about how you're going to hang this thing. It was uh, myself and my son that were able to get it up with uh, putting some blocks underneath and, and getting it set up. But this system here, um, not without issues. Um, haven't had any problems. It hasn't let us down. It hasn't quit. But 
I will tell you a couple of things. When you're running a generator um, into this for utility power, and I've seen some forums where, hey, I can see the little telephone pole um, source, like utility, it, it recognizes the power, but it's not charging anything. Um, it is hertz. It's not the problem with the inverter, but it's the hertz output of the generator that will cause this not to accept the uh, utility power and charge the system. So if that is an issue, you can actually toggle with the screen right here. Um, you can see where we're at, um, output. You see we're on solar right now. Batteries are right there. I mean, yeah, pretty close. And if we go up, you can kind of see um, input for AC. That would be um, utility, nothing, obviously. Um, no hertz coming in. So, but, but let me go back. That right there, so the second one, um, where you have volts coming in and then hertz, you can actually check and it will show. So if it's trying to push in, if the generator is trying to push in at 62, 63 hertz, it will not, uh, the inverter will not accept it and uh, use it to charge. Now, as we go up through the uh, panel here, you can see we are 200, 199, um, input is 58 amps so you can see right now um, our PV is putting out uh, 3,190 watts so it's doing a great job um, we do have the, um, we'll keep going here you can see the output oh the load actually went down on it um, to 700 we have the heat pump going in the house right now so um, the, the cool thing about this inverter, and I know they're all going to be like this, is, you know, if that heat pump, when it starts up and it's taking 1,700 watts, um, you have a solar array that's big enough to basically not only cover that, but also charge the um, the batteries at the same time. It's, it's, it's pretty cool, because if I went with a smaller array, it just wouldn't work um, as, as well as we needed to, so... I'll show you what we're running here in a bit as well. Um, like I said, the Husky big batteries, uh, I have three of these going. Um, it, they've been great. I would honestly say for what we do for the storage, um, I would probably add a fourth, which would put it, oh, you know, these are 5.2 um, kilowatt. Yeah, I would, I would definitely add a fourth one when we come up here full time. We'll, we'll definitely have four of these, but they do a really good job. Um, the shed itself, uh, the previous owner used it for, um, you can kind of see for a well down there. I put a different heater in and then um, insulated this off. Uh, there's plenty of room. I have different vents going so the inverter doesn't heat up um, too much. And I also have a uh, temperature gauge in here. Um, the probe's just hanging right up there just so I can kind of monitor what it is. It's more for the uh, for the winter and the cold weather than it is uh, for the summer because I also have uh, a 12 inch fan out here that'll cool it down. So yeah, the inverter, I, I would say guys, it's great. Uh, the one thing I did add on the bottom here is just the little um, Wi-Fi uh, dongle there. That amp is way way more accurate than you're going to get off the uh the display of the inverter so that would be a worthwhile um investment and for us being able to um check everything remotely is just it's it's pretty awesome so that is kind of the rundown of the system if there's particular questions or um, anything you want to see in further detail give me a shout leave a comment um and i'll have more videos coming up thanks for your time guys have a great day